Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing my comics overview for February and March. These are just some of the comics that I have been reading over the past two months that I just want to share with you guys in case you guys are interested in comics. This is in no particular order. I have like a giant stack of comics here and I'm going to try to go through this as quickly as possible. So first up I'm going to just talk about Giant Days by, let me check the artists and writers names, John Allison and Lissa Treeman. This is put out by Boom, um, who puts out Lumberjanes, in case you guys know and read Lumberjanes. I think that if you are someone who reads Lumberjanes, this would be a comic book worth picking up. It takes place in the United Kingdom and it follows a group of like college age people. There is only one issue out. The first issue just came out in March, but I really enjoyed this first issue. You get introduced to a group of three girls who are really good friends. Um, I believe it's their freshman year of college and they all like live close to each other in the same dormitory and this guy basically just appears on campus not appears but you know he comes and joins the school and he has history with one of these other characters so this first issue was mainly just like explanations of who these characters are and gives you just like a little hint of their relationship with each other and their friendships with each other similar to Lumberjanes there's just a lot of really interesting characters and female relationships so if that's something that you like in your comics then I recommend checking this one out it'll be interesting to see where this one ends up going I, this one is put out by Boombox, which I think is their all ages division of Boom that also puts out Lumberjanes. So again, it's in that same vein. The art style is very just like, I don't want to say young, but I think you know what I mean. Like it has this very cartoonish style to it that I personally really like. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see where this book goes, but I really like the first issue a lot. Like a lot more than I like first issues usually, but I think I'm just a sucker for female friendships. So that'll usually pull me in pretty easily. Next I want to talk about Cluster by Ed Bryson, Damien Cosero, and Michael Garland. I probably butchered those names. Issues 1 and 2 have been put out already and this is also from Boom Studios. This is kind of spacey but it's mostly like future world type spacey. The way it works is that if you are imprisoned for whatever reason you can join this organization called MID I believe um, and you can basically just serve in MID for about 15 years which is kind of like this military division and if you serve without any issues for 15 years you can just be released from your sentence. And so MID is sort of charged with protecting the planet and just fighting off these different aliens that they have issues with that are trying to take the planet from them. This main girl here on the cover, her name is Samara, and you don't completely know why she's been arrested, although there are hints of that backstory told in these two issues, but she has been arrested so she joins MID, but the thing is is that her father is actually a very high-ranking politician. I believe he's a senator. She's kind of being shown special treatment, kind of, but also she's also being like not shown special treatment because she is well known like she has a big name father so a lot of people resent her for that and kind of hold that against her things like that this was really really good like i had heard a little bit about this book but then brooke lee i will have a link to her channel down below she does weekly pull list videos where she talks about the different comics that she gets every week and she talked about this in one of her videos or maybe two of her videos since there's two issues out and i just really like the sound of it so I picked it up at my comic book shop and I really really liked it like this is going to be one that I pick up regularly. There are some really beautiful panels like this or pages like this that just really catch your attention so I like it a lot. I mean I'm mostly in it for the story more than the art although the art is really fantastic but it's just a very interesting storyline that I'm very intrigued to uh, see unfold so if you guys are looking for some new comics to check out this might be one worth checking out because there's I really liked it so far. And the final book that is also from Boom is Curb Stamp. This is only issue one. Issue two is coming out in April. This just follows like this girl gang. They all have really great names like Machete Betty. This is like the first pages of it. You're getting introduced to each character. Um, Violet Bolt, Daisy Chain, and Bloody Mary. So they all have these like very like roller derby-esque names to them. They're all just like hardcore gangster girls. Like there's nothing else to really say about it. I like that it's a diverse group of girls. It's very violent. So this isn't an all ages book whatsoever. I'm very intrigued to see how this goes because you can definitely see there's like a gang war that's about to be happening and some stuff 
just really goes down at the end of this first issue that I'm not going to talk about because spoilers, obviously. But yeah, everything about this just has a very like retro style feel to it, like the coloring and the styling. Yeah, really beautiful art, really interesting story. I really like it so far, but it's only issue one, but I will be picking up issue two to see how the gang wars all go down. I ended up finishing up the arc for Rasputin, which was the first five issues. This was interesting. I didn't realize like this was going to be an ongoing series. For some reason I had it in my head that it was a mini series, but the way the issues end, or the last issue ends in this arc, yeah, no, there's gonna be more. And the way that it ended was, I don't want to say confusing, but it was a little confusing, but it's mostly just like they did something that I don't know how they're going to explain how that happened. I talked about Rasputin in one of my other wrap-ups, but really the reason why I like this book so much is because the art is just like that page right there. Like I stared at this for a while. So yeah, I mean, it's really the art that really got me with Rasputin, not so much the storyline. The story was really hard for me to pick up at first and to sort of see where it was going. But now that I finished the five issues, I like got where they're going, but then they started something else where I'm like, yeah, where is that going? So it'll be interesting to see. I will be picking up the next issue whenever it comes out. I forgot when they said it's coming out in June. The rest of the stuff is all stuff I've talked about before. Lumberjanes still loving this. There's a new storyline that's happening in these issues, the second arc. But this arc I believe is now over because the way that this final issue number 12 ended, I believe this was the end of this arc. So I liked it. They they split the characters. So like Mal and Molly go off on like a date and then they get transported into another dimension which is one storyline and the other storyline is the other girls kind of hanging out in camp and trying to earn these badges. And so it was the storyline about the badges that I really really liked. Like I thought it was super silly and fun and just really said a lot about those characters traits and the way that they have such a hard time with just normal everyday things. So yeah I'm still loving Lumberjanes and also if you haven't read Lumberjanes yet you're waiting for the bind up. I believe the trade comes out in April as well so you guys can look out for that if you've been waiting. Gotham Academy still awesome. There's some love happening in this one. Also speaking of love, Miss Marvel you guys. If you are reading Miss Marvel in trade and you guys have some great stuff coming up ahead. But if you're reading it issue to issue and you've read issue 13, you know what I'm talking about. There is a really cute Muslim boy who is introduced that I totally have a crush on, or I would if I was 13. Yeah, he's great. And there's some really interesting things that are revealed at the end of this issue, and I cannot wait for the next one <laughs> to see how they develop it, because who oh, was not expecting that whatsoever. I love Miss Marvel. I, I just, I mean, like, I will talk about this in every comics wrap up, because I love Miss Marvel, and if you're not reading Miss Marvel and you like superhero comics, read Miss Marvel. The second trade just came out as well, so you guys can read that one, but like for real, read Miss Marvel, it's fantastic. And then the final one is Batgirl. I'm still reading Batgirl, I'm still loving Batgirl. This is going on a little bit of a break as DC does its like convergence series thing that I still don't completely understand, but I'll be picking up a couple of the issues because there's one with I believe uh, Nightwing and Black Canary I think have an issue together, so that's going to be super cool, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, there's a couple other big ones that are coming out that are like interesting characters that don't have a series at the moment, so I'm definitely picking that up. I'm still enjoying Batgirl and the storyline that they're doing with this, and I'm also very excited to see how the Black Canary series gets started, which I believe is starting in June. I want to say is when those new DC titles are starting, but yeah, I mean, I don't really have much to say about this unless you're actually reading the series, but I really like the new developments with Batgirl and I'm intrigued to see how they carry on to the rest of the stories. If you are reading any DC titles and there are specific convergence uh, issues that you are looking forward to, um, certain characters that you're looking to be highlighted, leave a comment down below because outside of like the Batgirl one, the Nightwing one, there isn't really much that's catching my eye, but it could also just be me not knowing. So yeah, that's basically what I've been reading for comics. I didn't read a lot of trades or graphic novels outside of March Volumes 1 and 2, which I already did a separate video review of, so I will have a link for that. If you haven't seen it already, check it out if you're interested in that, but it's a really fantastic graphic novel. So yeah, if you read comics, let me know what you guys are reading recently, whether it be something that I mentioned or something new and different that you want to recommend, or if you have any questions about any of these titles, I will do my best to answer them. I'm not the best or most knowledgeable about comics, I just kind of like the stories that I like, but I will try my best to answer your questions. 
So yeah, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.